can't get over how beautiful Maria is. And she's so big. It's amazing what can happen in a year or so, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, these little ones change so much in just one day, Miguel. I'm sorry you've missed so much of little Maria's first year. Her first words, her first little baby steps. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry too. I think she knows my voice since I've talked to her on the phone. But that's all. Yes, well, you are Maria's father, even if she doesn't know it yet. I have nobody to blame but myself for that. You were off on a mission to find Charity, the woman you loved. It's a pity you haven't found her in all this time. Bless you. <laughs> I don't understand why you haven't told Miguel that we're engaged yet. He's right there. I told you. I was just really surprised to see him. What, do you think I don't want him to know? I don't know. I mean, you haven't told him yet. Well, like I said before, I'm going to tell him right now. Uh, Miguel. Hey, I'm blown away by this little girl. <laughs> She's really something. Yeah, thank you. I, I think so, too. Hey, uh, look, um, there's something that I have to tell you. Something that you uh, need to know. Hmm. I knew bringing Miguel back to Harmony was a good way to put some distance between my son and Kay. Now, with any luck, Fox will be rid of Kay for good soon. You need to leave. I won't betray Pilar again. Not after everything I put her through. You're fooling yourself, Martin. If you think making me leave will fix anything. <sighs> Darling, you can't be faithful to Pilar because you don't love her the way you love me. You're wrong, Catherine. I can be faithful to Pilar. And I will be. <sighs> Martin. <sighs> Martin. <laughs> with your cell phone. When I called you, your ex-lover answered. Noah, where is he? What did you do to him? We met and we talked. And you're right, he's a Boy Scout. He refused to tell me anything about the package. I told you, he doesn't know anything. Please leave him alone. Maya, he was in that attic with you when my partner was killed. Whoever killed him stole the package. We didn't see their faces. You must have seen something. We must get that package back, Maya. Whoever has it is holding on to it. The package hasn't surfaced, so the killer hasn't tried to sell it. You're wasting your time with me and Noah. We didn't see anyone's face, and Noah didn't even see the package. You and Noah are the only ones who can lead us to the killer. You can't do it alone. He has to help you. He won't do it. All he wants to do is go to the cops and tell them everything. No. You must do whatever it takes to keep him from going to the police. If I have to threaten your life again, or the life of his girlfriend, I'll do it. No. Please, I'll keep trying. Look, if no one knew I was working with you, I don't know what he would do. He never found out when you were dating. Just be careful he won't find out now. And remember, I'll be listening. Over. I want to know what the hell is going on. I 
can't stand this. I have to know if the man we found is going to make it or not. He may know something that'll help us find Marty. Whoever he is, he's had a rough go of it. Well, he must have something or someone to live for. No, it can't be. It can't be. you love me. Darling, don't make this terrible mistake. I love... We can still be together. I love Pilar. I know you do. Of course you do. She's a wonderful, lovable woman, but that doesn't mean you ruin your life. She's the woman I married, the mother of my five children, and after I renew my vows with her tonight, she's the woman I'll be with for the rest of my life. Are you telling me that you are willing to forfeit your whole life out of duty? Yes. I'm going to honor my commitment. And what about your commitment to me? Does that mean nothing? Martin, don't you remember the vows we made in that beautiful garden in Mexico? Of course I remember it. We thought that we'd never be able to come back to harmony. We were in love. You can never convince me that you don't love me. Catherine, it's not about how I feel. It's about that I have to do the right thing. You can mean that. I do mean it. You and I are over, Catherine. We're finished. I'm going back to Pilar. Right. I want you to, I want you to tell me what happened. Mama, why do you think that Papa is still in love with Catherine? I saw them. I saw them kissing. Oh, how, how do you know that um, that Papa was kissing her? Maybe she she just grabbed him. No, and... no, no. Catherine came to me and she told me that she was going to fight for Martin. And then, and then she said. She said they had just made love and oh. that the scratches were on Mar Martin's back to prove it. Uh, okay. Do you think that she's telling you the truth? I didn't want to believe it. I wanted to have faith in your father. I did. But then I saw him without his shirt on and the, the scratches were on his back. Mama, why, why do you think that he would do this? Well, I'm, I'm not sure he did. Uh, he said that Catherine, well, she tried to seduce him, and, and that he resisted. Okay, but Mama, you just said you saw the scratch marks on oh, yeah, I know, I know, he said that she put him there. But then I, I, I spoke to Father Lonigan, and he said that um, he seemed to believe that, that Martin was telling the truth. He seemed to believe that? Yeah, well, I, I assume that he heard Martin's confession, and that's, that's why he knew. Have you talked to Papa, Mama? <laughs> well, I was on my way to see him to confront him, to get the truth once and for all. That's when I saw them. Catherine was in his arms, and your father was kissing her, and nobody was forcing him to do anything. I know what I saw, There's a... He's still in love with her. He'd rather be with his whore than with his own wife. <laughs> It can't be. Sharon, what is it? What's wrong? No, he's... He's... Oh, my God, he's dead. He's dead? 
didn't get him here in time. I'm so sorry. Now we'll never find Marty. This man was our only hope, and now he's dead. I'm sorry, but no one is allowed in here. We brought this man in. We just wanted to see how he was doing. I, I can see that. No, no, didn't... no. You were in the wrong cubicle. The man that you brought in is in there, and he's still alive. Still alive. Thank God. How's he doing? When can we see him? The doctor's with him right now. The patient's very weak, but we're doing everything that we can. When will we be able to talk to him? I'm not sure, but you're going to have to wait outside. We'll let you know when you can see your friend. At least there's still hope, Sheridan. Please, God, let him live. Miguel, I have to tell you something. Okay, but before you tell me, there's something I need to tell you. Fox, honey, are you all right? Me? I'm, I'm fine. Really? Yes, really. Shouldn't I be? Well, it's just that Kay and Miguel haven't seen each other in a long time. I'm sure it's very emotional for them, and I would imagine just a bit awkward for you. Mother, I'm fine. Kay's over there right now telling him that we're engaged. Uh, I'm not threatened by Miguel. Well, no, or should you be? I mean, Miguel's never shown the slightest interest in Kay. Never? Well, they do have a child together, so there must have been a time when they did. See, if I remember, that was well, a long time ago, and Charity had dumped Miguel, which is probably why he slept with Kay. Men are so funny. They always want what they can't have. Well, obviously, you're not talking about every man, because I want Kay, and I've got her. Oh, right. It's just, well, you know, Charity ran away from Miguel, so of course he had to follow her. And now he can't have Kay, either. Hmm. Mother, what are you trying to say? That now, since Miguel can't have Kay, he's going to be after her? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he's going to be very happy for Kay. It's just, well, he's never had very much luck with women, you know? I really hope he finds charity since she is the one he claims to love. You have something you want to tell me? Yeah. Since I've been back, something I realized I should have told you a long time ago. Something I definitely need to say now. Oh, my devil. What is Miguel going to say to her? I answered your cell phone, and I met with the woman who called you, OK? She said, we're all in a lot of danger if I don't help her. Now, I want to know who these people are. Who is this woman? I told you everything I know. Now you have. You know everything I know. Maya, there is more to this than you are telling me. No, I swear. I should have gone to the police years ago when we saw that guy get killed in the attic. Now we're up to our eyeballs in something, and I don't have to tell you how dangerous it is. I know how dangerous it is. That's why it's so important that you not tell Fancy anything. She left me because I couldn't tell her what was going on. I know. I'm sorry. Look, you don't give a damn, Maya. If you did, you would, you would tell me everything you know. Now, look, this woman, she said she wants me to help her find out who killed her partner. The man that got shot in the attic? Yeah, and she also wants me to find out what happened to a package, some kind of package. Do you know what that means? No, I don't. All right, well, she threatened Fancy again if I didn't agree to help her, and I've had it. I'm going to the police. I'm going to put it into this once and for all. That would be a big mistake, Noah. A very big mistake. All right, thank you. What'd the police say? Were they able to find Otto? <sighs> no, not yet, but they're still looking. How far could he get? We're on an island. Well, they said that they were covering the airport and the harbors, and unless he escapes to some other remote hideout on the island, they'll find him. They have to. He's caught Marty. I know. Who is that man? 
Why was Otto holding him hostage? Maybe he knew Beth and Marty. Maybe he knew that Beth had kidnapped my son and was trying to rescue him. I'm sure we'll have some answers as soon as he's conscious and we're able to talk to him. I just can't stand the waiting. The longer we wait, the more time Otto has to disappear with Marty. The police are doing everything they can, darling. We were so close, Chris. I could feel him. I could feel his deep love. I want to be your wife. I, I want to bear your children. Come and grow old with me. The best is yet to be. He's smiling. You're right. I wonder what he's thinking. I wonder what happened to him to leave him in this condition. You think he's going to make it? It's too soon to tell. You're so close, Chris. I can't lose him again. I can't lose someone else that I love again. I don't want to hurt you, but you have to accept it. I am going to renew my marriage vows to Pilar tonight. I can't accept it. I can't believe it. Can you turn your back on what we've shared? Please don't make this any harder than it already is. I'm doing what I have to do. You listen to yourself, Martin. Doing what you have to do. No, you don't have to do it. Follow your heart. I followed my heart all those years ago when we were in hiding, when we were escaping Alistair's wrath. I followed my heart then, but I was wrong. Our love was wrong? No, I mean, I was wrong to abandon my wife and my children. Now, I knew that if I didn't help you, that Alistair would have had you killed. But I never meant to stay away from my family forever. <laughs> I know you didn't, Mark. You made a great sacrifice for me. I know that. Yeah, and when the reality of the situation sank in, when I finally realized that we'd never be able to come back to harmony without putting our families in danger, I was devastated. You know I was. My heart broke for you and for Pilar, but the seriousness of our situation, we had no choice. We had to stay in hiding. Yeah, I suppose we did. You know, after a while, I, I thought that Pilar would give me up for dead, you know, find someone else, someone new to love. We both thought she would. Mark, it was inevitable that we fall in love. I believe it was because we are meant to be together. If that were true, we would have stayed away from harmony forever. I am your true love. Darling, the vows that we shared with each other, they were as real and sincere as any vows you had with Pilar. And why? Why is your commitment to her more important than your commitment to me? Because she's my wife. The mother of my children. Martin, the promises that we made to each other in those vows, they were based on a love that was so strong. It's alive today. Our passion is still alive today. That love is the basis of our commitment to each other. You don't love Pilar that way anymore. It's over. You and I are not over, Martin. Your father would rather be with his whore. That is, that's all there is to it. Mama. You don't know that for sure. Yes, I do, Mia. I'm sure. Trust me. I'm sorry. After everything you've been doing for me for the ceremony, but I just can't go through with it right now. It would feel like a sham, like a lie. Mm. Look, um, I just I don't understand why Papa would even go through with the ceremony at all if he didn't love you. Because I think he thought he was doing the right thing. 
I don't want to be the woman in his bed and not the woman in his heart. I won't lie in bed every night wondering if he's thinking about her. I won't. I want him out of my life for good this time, Teresa. I, I, don't, I don't believe you. What don't you believe? I, I know that you are angry. I know that you are hurting. But I know you love him, Mama, and I know that you want to be with him. What does it matter, Teresa? He doesn't want me. Yes, yes, he does. He does. I want you to listen to me, Mama, very carefully, because I'm going to tell you what you have to do. Well, what did you want to say? <laughs> Something I should have said a long time ago, Kay. It hit me when I got back and realized what I should have told you. Now, I don't want to wait another minute to tell you how I feel. How you feel? Uh, about what? <laughs> Great goblins, is he going to tell her he loves her? Okay. I wanted to tell you what an amazing job you've done with Maria. She's a, a wonderful child. Yeah, she is, isn't she? She's perfect. She's smart and sweet and beautiful. It's all because of you, Kay. You're obviously a terrific mother. Oh, well, thank you. I'm sorry I've missed so much of her life. She's all grown up, and I've missed it. Yeah, well, babies can't stay babies forever. I mean, they do grow up, no matter what you do. <laughs> I can see that. I'm just so grateful you're taking such good care of her. Yeah, well, she means everything to me. She's obviously a very happy baby. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I've never seen you happier, Kay. Well, yes, uh, there, there's actually a reason for that. <laughs> Besides Maria, I mean. I'm here, Daddy. I'm here, Maria. Hey, there's my little girl. Are you coming with me? <gasps> All right. All right. All right. <gasps> What's this? What's that? What's that? Noah, don't call the police. You'll put us all in terrible danger. We're already in terrible danger, Maya. Don't you get that? Yes. I know. But you'll make it worse, I swear. Oh, look, how much worse could it get? Right, Maya, what aren't you telling me? <sighs> what? I hope you're not thinking of going to the police. That would be very unwise. Wait. You... Not just unwise. It could be fatal to your friend, Fancy. Whoa, are you threatening her again? What do you want? I told you what I want. Find the man that killed my partner and find the package. But you must do it without involving the police. Do you understand? If you go to the police, I promise you, you'll regret it. You know I was about to go to the police. Come to think of it, how does she know anything I'm planning? I don't know. She knows every move I make, right before I'm about to make it. Maya, and she knows things I've, I've only told you. Oh my God. Noah. Don't. I... It's you, isn't it? You've been talking to them, haven't you? Wait, you're working with them, aren't you? You're in on this. It's you. What is taking them so long? Sheridan, the man we brought in was in very bad shape. Yeah, but we should know by now whether he's going to live or die, shouldn't we? We should leave that to the doctors. We'll know something when they know something. What is it? Nothing. Tell me. I, uh, I was just thinking about Luis. <sighs> Luis? Yeah. He just popped into my head right now. Well, perhaps because you're worried about Marty and he's Marty's father. Maybe. We were always so connected. I could always tell when he was nearby. Maybe he's trying to tell me something, that we're close to finding Marty. Yes, maybe. I'm sorry, Chris. I don't mean to hurt you, but you know how important Luis was to me. I know. 
You know we shared many past lives together. Can you tell me? Something always tore us apart. It was like we weren't meant to be together. Forgive me. I'm married to you now. And I am committed to us and our life together. Are you my darling? Yes. Don't ever doubt it for a second. I know Luis is gone, and a, a part of me will always love him, but I love you. You are my future. Well, I've got an idea. Let's go and get some coffee and something to eat, and maybe by the time we get back, the man we brought in is well enough to talk to. Okay? Great idea. that brought this man in. They seem so anxious to see him. You know, I'm sure they'll be right back. Uh, let me call down to radiology and make sure they're ready for us. Oh, I'll be right back. I left the keys in the waiting area. I'm sorry about that. She doesn't know. Hey, it's fine. Don't worry about it, really. I've been gone, and I've only talked to Murray over the phone. She doesn't even know me, really. No, she, she doesn't. I mean, she knows your voice. And but... you and Fox work together, so she sees him a lot, right? I mean, she'd be confused. But maybe we need to let Maria know that Fox is just your boss, and I'm her real father. Miguel, there's something that daddy, you... baby. Come here. You don't mind, do you? No, of course not. I can't believe this. You are one of them. You're working with them. No, I'm not, Noah. I've told you everything I know. How can you doubt me like this? All right, then explain to me how this woman has information that I have only shared with you. How does she know everything that she knows? I just, I don't know. But Noah, these people, whoever they are, they came after me too. They beat me up, they almost killed me. If I was one of them, why would they do that? I don't know, maybe to make you seem believable to me. Noah, you have every right to not trust me. But I swear to you, I'm not working with these people. Please tell me you believe me. I hope Noah buys your act, little Maya, for your sake. Sure. I got your keys. You do? <laughs> you left them there and I picked them up. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't leave my head. Thank you. Okay, they're waiting for us in x-ray. Doctor, I think he's coming around. It's the light. His eyes are sensitive. Sir, we're gonna help you. Do you understand? I don't think he's fully conscious. No, not yet. Poor guy, I don't know how he's hanging on. Let's get him down there for those tests. You know that I'm right, Martin. You're not in love with Pilar anymore. And if you tell yourself the truth, we're as much in love today as we ever were. Please, don't go through with this ceremony. You're wrong, Catherine. I am going to do it. I do love Pilar, and we're going to be remarried tonight. And there's nothing you can say to convince me to change my mind. Nothing. My advice is simple, Mama. Okay. You don't give up. Do not let Catherine intimidate you into handing over Papa to her. Okay, you fight for him. Yeah, but how can I get his? Well, you pull yourself together, for starters. You take a few deep breaths. You march into that room. You, you say those vows to Papa. You remarry him tonight. You don't give up. I don't know. I don't know if I could do that. It would be like a lie. I, I feel like 
If I look at Martin, all I'll see is him kissing Catherine. Okay. Look, you just gotta put that out of your head. And I know that it hurts. Mama, I know better than anyone how it feels. <laughs> you know, when I think of Ethan and Gwen, it's like, um, it's like a knife in my heart. Okay, but I put the image out of my head. I don't let that stop me. If I could get Ethan back right now, I would take him back in a heartbeat. And you can do that. You can just, um, take that picture out of your head of him making love to another woman. Yes. Because I love him. Now, Mama, you gotta think of all those years that you waited, Papa. <laughs> You know, those prayers that you made? <laughs> All the sacrifices that you told God you would make if only he would return Papa safely to you. And you know what? He has. Papa is here. And he is yours. I want you to go through with that ceremony and don't let anyone get in your way. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. What happened to the man we brought in? I don't know. Excuse me, nurse. What happened to the man we brought in? Don't tell no, me. No, that he's... no. I've been looking for you. We just took him down to radiology for more tests. Oh, thank goodness. How is he? Well, he's still very weak, but he did open his eyes for a moment, and it seemed painful. Yes, we saw that on the drive over. Can he talk? Did he? Did he say anything? No, he hasn't regained consciousness yet. I would like to see him. I know that he can't talk yet, but I really want to see him. When we move him into a private room, you can see him for a few minutes. But as I said, he's very weak, and I doubt he'll be conscious. Well, he might be. And it's extremely important that I talk to him. He might know where my son is. I, I need to ask him what he knows. Obviously, you didn't tell Miguel that we're engaged yet. Well, I was just about to tell him when Maria called you daddy. Well, Kate, you need to tell him because apparently he just thinks I'm still your boss. I know, but... But? Well, if he was so hurt hearing Maria call you daddy, just think about how he's going to feel if he finds out we're getting married and she's going to be with you every day. You know, Kate, I'm sorry if Miguel's feelings will be hurt, but he's the one that chose to leave you and Maria. Okay, he decided to spend his life chasing after some woman instead of being a father to his daughter. You know, you didn't force him to abandon you and Maria. No, of course not. And if Maria calls me daddy, it's because I'm the one who's been there for her. And I'm gonna be the one that's there for her in the future. I know, I know you will. Well, good. You need to tell Miguel that I'm not just your boss. You need to tell him that I'm the man that you love and that I'm the one that you're going to marry. I'm going to be Maria's stepfather. I knew Miguel would cause trouble for Fox and Kay. He could be the one that destroys them once and for all. Oh, poor Fox. But it's for his own good. And I have a feeling this is going to be better than good. I have to find Pilar. Don't I need do to see this. if she's Don't all right. Do this. You can't go through with this. I know you, Martin. You're an honorable man. If you say these vows, you're saying goodbye. You're saying goodbye to us forever. I know. And that's what I have to do. I'm finally going to keep the promise I made to Pilar all those years ago. Even though this promise to forsake all others will be a lie, it's going to be a lie in a year. It's going to be a lie in your heart. Catherine, Catherine please. I have to do the right thing. I will not hurt Pilar again. I have an obligation to her, a duty. Is that what I am? Is that all I am? An obligation? You are remarrying me because you feel it's your duty? Believe me, I'm not working for them. Okay, but you do know who they are. No, I don't. Keep your cool, Maya. Don't let him discover the truth. Noah, you have to believe me. I'm as much a victim here as you are. <sighs> All right. All right. 
But how do they know everything we talk about without being here in this room? Maybe the room's bugged. But we don't always talk in here. Maya, it, is there is there something you always keep with you, like a, like a purse or a watch or? Be very careful, Maya. No, I change my purse, and I have several watches. Okay, what about uh, your earrings? I change my earrings. With that necklace. Oh, every time I've seen you, you've been wearing that necklace. Have I? Yes, every time. It's funny, I don't wear it every day. Have you ever noticed it missing? No, but I don't wear it every day. I, I don't really know. I think I figured out why they're one step ahead of us. your necklace, Maya. That's why they're always one step ahead of us. They're not gonna be anymore. Damn! I have to do something about this, and fast. What is taking so long? Why is that man still unconscious? You saw the condition he was in. You don't know what Otto did to him while he was in captivity. That man could be out for days. Days? No, I can't take that. I need to know now if that man has any idea what Otto did with Marty. Sweetheart, you can't force a man back to consciousness. He'll come around when he's able. Can we see him now? Yes, you can see him for just a moment or two. Is he conscious? He's in and out of consciousness, and he's still very weak. So you can't stay long. No, we won't. Oh my god. Do you still want to be with Miguel? I'm back. For good. Is there something you need? This. Yes. 